In previous videos, I told you why I love my Garmin Instinct Solar. I also showed you how I use it hiking. And in those videos, I showed how to start navigating a course. Now I'm gonna show you how I make those courses and load them onto my watch. I'm Mike and I love everything outside. And if you do too, you're gonna to wanna to click that subscribe button. And if you find value in this video, be sure to click that like button. Creating and loading courses onto your Garmin Instinct Solar is really easy. I'm gonna show you a couple different methods I use to create those courses and then load them onto my watch. The first method is gonna use all mobile apps, and the second method will use a browser and websites. So let's create a route and load it onto our watch. You can do that with the Garmin Connect app or website. And that app and website works really good if you're creating a route for running or biking in town. But I find that their backcountry maps are really lacking. So I resort to using Gaia GPS or Caltopo to create my backcountry routes. First, we'll use the Gaia GPS app to build our route. We'll plan a route for the McIntyre range in the Adirondacks. First click the plus, then select create route. Move the blue dot to the trailhead, then press on the trail to build the routes. I love how it just snaps to the trail. If you mess up, you can just move the blue dot back on the trail and it should snap to the trail. I like to create points between each trail junction. Then Gaia GPS's intelligent snapping snaps to the trail and not some other route. We will build the route all the way to Iroquois and then back to the trailhead. When you are satisfied with the route, click Save. Give it a name, click Save again. Then you want to click Share and click Export File and select GPX. Select the Garmin Connect app. If it's not there, you can add it with the More button. This will launch the Garmin Connect app. Select the course type, for now I'll use Other, and it will load it onto the map. And you can see it has a full elevation data. Now that we have imported the GPX file into Garmin Connect, we can set the course name, change the course type, I'm not sure why hiking shows up now, and set the privacy. Click Save. And now just click Done. To send it to your watch, click the three dots at the top right and select Send to Device. Make sure you select your device here. And now the next time Garmin Connect syncs, it will load the course onto your watch. You can force a sync by going back to the home screen and click the round arrows at the top right. If you want to access your courses library in the future from the home screen, click More, Training, then Courses, and you will see the one you just created and any other ones that were loaded in the past. Garmin has an app called Explore, and it's pretty good. You can import a GPX file to that app, and it'll show you the elevation profile of pulling it from the map. But in my experience, most GPX files don't include elevation data. So when you go to transfer those courses onto your watch, you don't get the elevation data display. But if you import a GPX file into either the Garmin Connect app or the Garmin Connect website, it embeds that elevation data and syncs it up with your phone. Plus, there's a lot fewer steps doing it this way. So now let's take a look at what that actually looks like on the watch. Hit the GPS button in the upper right. Select Navigate. Select Courses. Then pick the one we just created, the McIntyre range. Here you can do the course. View the overview map where you can pan and zoom. You can also see the elevation plot, which I really like. I like to see my progress up a mountain and see what steepness is coming up. So what you want to do is actually start your activity first. If you watch my previous videos, in my case it would probably be mountaineering or hiking. And then you want to start your navigation of a course. If you were to start the navigation first, you're only going to get the data screens navigation provides and you're never going to be able to start and record your activity. Now let's do the same thing using the Garmin Connect website and the Gaia website. You can also use Caltopo. You'll see that it snaps to the trail just as easy as Gaia does and can export the GPX file. 
Here we're in the Gaia GPS web interface. You see the route we created using the mobile app. We'll just delete it for now. We're gonna recreate it anyways. Now we'll create the route. Click Create Route, and just like the mobile app, we can click on the map and snap to the trail. I find it way easier to do on the web than the mobile app, but both are really nice. We'll give it a name and save it. Then we click Export and select GPX. Now that we have a GPX file in our Downloads folder, we'll switch over to the Garmin Connect website. So I want to point out that the upper right, there is this import function. It seems like it is a shortcut to the course import, but it will cause an error with your GPX file. Like the app, courses are located under Training and Courses. This should pull up a map view, and you'll see the courses you already have loaded. Notice the McIntyre range that we created with the mobile app is right there. We want to import our GPX by hitting the import link, then drag your GPX file and click get started. Select the course type and click continue. You can see the route and elevation. We will give it a name and save the new course. Now that it's saved, we get a button that says send to device. Click it, select your device, and hit the Send to Device button. The next time the Garmin app syncs up, it'll load those courses onto your watch. Or you can force the sync by clicking those circular arrows like I showed you before. The course from the Garmin Connect website will show up in your Navigate Courses menu on your watch. And you can see the map and elevation profile like before. And if you want to delete the course from your watch, just select the course, then delete. So that's two quick ways to load courses onto your Garmin Instinct Solar. One way is to use mobile apps. The other way is to use the Garmin Connect website in conjunction with GPX files. Now I showed it to you on an iPhone and it had that really cool share feature where I was able to export it from the Gaia GPS app and import it directly into the Garmin Connect app. I think that functionality is there on Android, but I don't have an Android to test with. So if you know how to do it, be sure to spell it out in the comments below. I'm sure it's gonna help other people load courses onto their instinct. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, click that like button. If you wanna see other gear reviews, how to's, and outdoor adventures, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside.